Nowadays, it seems that most major brands of rods are all technique specific. You have your square bill rod and your spinner bait rod and your flipping rod and your jig rod and so on and so forth. And although it is great to have a specific rod for a specific lure, you don't need to do that. And I don't want people to think that they need to go out there and just spend a ton of money and buy 15, 20, 30 different setups. I really believe that you can fish pretty much every technique that you fish with a bait caster with these four that I'm about to show you. Now, there are some finesse techniques that I am typically going to use a spinning rod for, but that's a totally different video for a different day. But today, I want to specifically talk about bait casters and the four that you need that you can fish every technique with. Now, I am going to mention the exact rod and brand that I am using, but the most important thing that I want you guys to get out of this video is more or less the length and the action and the power of the rod. Not necessarily the brand. Like I said, I will tell you the brand, but no matter what brand of rod that you like, you can typically find a very similar model in that brand. Now, the first rod is a seven foot medium heavy power fast action rod. If you're just getting started in bass fishing, this is the rod that I'm going to recommend. But even if you're not just getting started, you probably have several of these rods. This particular rod that I'm holding is the Arc Tharp series rod. It is known as the hammer rod. Now the techniques that I use with this rod include a spinner bait like you see here. I can also throw a chatter bait on this rod and really be able to put it wherever I want. I love this rod for buzz baits as well. Most of the time when I fish buzz baits, I put Put different line on though. I'm going to use a 30 or 40 pound braided line and that's what I use for buzz baits. Now this is also my skipping rod. You guys may have seen some of the skipping videos that I have put out and this is kind of my favorite skipping rod because a lot of times when I am skipping I'm either skipping underneath overhanging trees or underneath docks where it's really kind of close quarters fishing and so it, you can skip with a seven foot three, you can skip with a seven foot six, but a shorter rod, that seven foot rod, you really just have more control over that bait, which just allows you to be able to skip that bait a lot further. So there's a lot of different techniques that you can throw with this rod, but a seven foot medium heavy power fast action rod has got to be on your list. Let's talk about bait cast rod number two. And this rod is really specific for lures that have treble hooks on them. I like a seven foot two inch medium power moderate action rod. This particular rod here is an Arc Invoker Pro Rod. The action is actually listed as regular when you see this rod and I will link everything down below for you guys to see. One of the most frustrating things about throwing any lure that has treble hooks like topwater baits or rattle traps or crank baits is that you can lose a lot of fish on those particular baits. And the biggest thing that you can do that prevents you from losing so many fish is actually use a moderate bend rod. This is more of a parabolic bending rod. Now with that moderate action, your rod is really loaded most of the time when you are fighting a fish. And the big time when bass actually get off is when they kind of come to the surface and they shake their head and they throw that treble hooked lure. Now with that moderate action, it really helps to keep a little bit more pressure on the hooks that are on that treble hook. So when that fish comes up to actually throw that bait, it keeps a little bit of pressure on them and it keeps them locked in their mouth. Now, like I said, I use this rod for anything with treble hooks, which includes, you know, poppers, walking baits, wake baits, you know, crank baits, lipless crank baits, anything that has treble hooks, I'm going to use this rod for. Now, the big thing that I do is I will change the line on this rod depending on what lure I'm using. Anytime I'm throwing a topwater, I like 30 pound braid to a 20 pound monofilament leader. A lot of times if I'm fishing a lipless crankbait or a square bill around cover, I will use 15 pound fluorocarbon. And if I'm using a medium to deep diving crankbait, I'm going to use 12 pound fluorocarbon. Now the one type of treble hooked lure bait that I won't throw on this rod is really bigger swim baits, like a big glide bait. And that actually brings me to rod number three. And that rod is this one right here. And that is a seven foot foot six inch medium heavy power rod fast action rod now this particular rod is also an arc invoker pro i love how light this rod is but again no matter what brand you are fishing that length that power that action is what you want i use this rod for a glide bait it may not be the perfect rod for a glide bait but 
The reason that I like this rod is because I use it for a ton of other different techniques. This is my primary flipping and pitching rod. Anytime I'm flipping and pitching a Texas rig or a jig to cover, whether that's vegetation, wood, rock, whatever, this is the rod that I'm going to pick up. Most of the time I'm fishing 20 pound fluorocarbon on this rod. Now the other thing you can do is put braided line on it, put 50 pound braid on it, and you can actually use this rod to punch into matted vegetation. Another thing that I use this rod for all the time is a Carolina rig. I usually like a longer rod when I'm fishing a Carolina rig because a lot of times you make a super long cast and if a fish bites you at the end of that cast, you really need to be able to take up a lot of line to be able to drive that hook into that fish. And this rod is perfect for that. Now, the big thing that I have noticed with this seven foot six inch rod that I use all these techniques for is that if you have a really hard hook set, go with this exact rod, this medium heavy rod. If you have a softer hook set, I would suggest going with a heavy action rod instead. For me specifically, I set the hook really hard. Oh God. I know that I don't always need to do it, but it's just something that I have always done. So I tend to use a little bit lighter power rods because I set the hook so hard. Now, if you do not set the hook like that, you can get away with a little bit heavier power rods and you're gonna be just fine. Now, moving on to rod number four, this is the last rod and this actually happens to be my favorite rod of the whole bunch. This is the one that I probably use the most out of any of these particular rods. Now, this is a seven foot, three inch, medium heavy power, fast action rod. Now, this particular rod I have here is the Arc Tharp Series Money Maker Rod. And this thing is exactly that. It is a money maker. Now, in my opinion, besides treble hooked lure baits, I use this rod for pretty much every other technique. A couple things that I really love to do with this rod is I'm going to put 50 pound braid on it and it becomes a great swim jig and frog rod. This is just perfect. It gives you enough length to have power on that hook set, but not too much where it's just a little bit bulky when you're throwing it and casting it around cover. Something that I use this rod a ton for is what I call an offshore rod. If I am fishing off the bank and I'm fishing a football jig or a swim bait or a big Texas rigged worm, I'm gonna put 15 pound fluorocarbon and this rod is perfect for all of those techniques. Another thing that I use this rod a ton for is fishing my favorite swim bait, which this is a Mega Bass Mag Draft swim bait. I've done a lot of videos on this particular bait, so I'm not gonna talk about it, but this is my exact rod that I use for that bait. Now, in my opinion, those are the four best bait cast rods Rods that you can own. You can do a ton of different techniques with them. And if you want to see me actually taking one of these rods and skipping a jig around with it, I'm going to leave a link for a video right here where I talk about exactly how to go about skipping a jig. So if you guys enjoyed this video, you're going to like that one. Please subscribe to the channel, comment below your questions, and I'll see you in the next video.